Hey guys, Zane from the Infinite Jukebox here with another album review, and today I wanted to talk about the new Rap Ferrero record, Five to the Eye with Stars. Five to the Eye with Stars is the latest studio album from rapper and poet Rap Ferrera, though at this point it might be more appropriate to call him a poet before a rapper or any type of MC at the moment. I mean, really, this is just a man that is defined by his own poetry, defined by his own songwriting, perhaps more so than at least 98% of other rappers in the underground hip-hop scene at the moment. But more importantly, he is a man that has gone through a plethora of names aliases over the years, perhaps most notably Milo, but at this point, Rap Ferreira is probably the most notable name he's been under. Sure, some of his previous releases under different names and stage names have been definite successes in the underground, but really, some of his best work has come from the Rap Ferreira name, and now, here we are with another studio album from him that is easily one of his best yet, and definitely stacks up to what is undoubtedly his best so far, Purple Moonlight Pages. As always, this is another Rap Ferreira record that primarily focuses on the lyrical and songwriting aspects of his music, and it shouldn't really be expected of him anything else at this point. I mean, what else can I say, really? I mean, this is a record that just embraces Rap Ferreira the poet, not Rap Ferreira the rapper. He's not a typical writer of raps, really. He isn't Rap Ferreira the MC. he's Rap Ferreira the rambling philosophical drunk that just so happens to have some great abstract instrumentals beneath him. And that's not to say that this ever feels sort of mindless or shallow or fake deep or anything like that. He always does have purpose and point and a general sense of grace behind what he's doing here, but at the same time there is a level of immediacy mixed with rambling technique and style that ultimately makes a very successful combination that these lyrics can pair with, with these sort of astronomical and generally several dimensional themes that aren't necessarily the kind of things you would expect to pop up in even the most underground of hip-hop. He definitely has a unique style. It's a style that's difficult to describe in terms of songwriting, even for those who are heavily experienced with underground hip-hop and the stranger side of that entire subgenre and movement at the moment. But at the same time, it still works very, very well on Five to the Eye with Stars. And look, the lyrical style found here, or for any other Rap Ferreira albums for that matter, isn't going to be for everybody, and that's understandable and respectable, but for those who find themselves particularly enamored with the world of impassioned poets, this is a great listen. As for his actual flow, he's a great performer overall. In fact, he's maybe a bit underrated in terms of actual presence, as Rap Ferreira has been in the game for a while. I mean, like I said before, between this stage name and a number of other aliases, he's been kind of doing things for quite some time at this point, and it shows. It really, really does show, as he has just as much confidence and is filled with just as much conviction as he was several years ago, and is perhaps actually a much better performer than he was four or five years ago. This may very well be him at his best in this moment. Now, am I saying that I think that this is the best that abstract hip-hop can be? No, absolutely not. But I am saying that I think for the time being, at least, records such as Five to the Eye with Stars is maybe the best that Rap Ferreira can be. But hey, with that much conviction in his voice, passion in his lungs, and with such great songwriting to back him up, it's hard for him to actually go wrong. A certain issue that has kind of plagued Rap Ferreira's discography over the past couple of years once again shows up on his latest studio album, and that is of course the length, more specifically the incredibly brief length that we have here. This record is barely over 20 minutes long, and I mean, this is damn near an EP, and that's surely okay for those who want a more condensed listening experience, but as far as a fully fleshed out concept of a record goes, it doesn't do it any favors. There isn't necessarily much to say about how it affects Five to the Eye with Stars, but I will say that brevity was a much bigger issue on his last couple of albums, which were nice and pleasant and enjoyable with highlights, but nonetheless felt very incomplete. And this record still, in a way, does feel incomplete. Five to the Eye with Stars does not feel like a fully fleshed out project, but that being said, the highs here are even higher, which results in a better and even arguably more consistent project overall, and one that I just enjoy more than his past couple. 
So overall, Five to the Eye with Stars does have some issues with features such as brevity and a couple of tracks here or there that don't necessarily hit as hard as I would hope them to have done, but at the same time, it's still a great listen with beautiful songwriting and an incredibly underrated performance once again from one of the finest in underground hip-hop at the moment. I'm going to give this record 4 stars out of 5. And with that being said, that is the end of this review. Thank you for watching. I've been Zane from the Infinite Jukebox, and I will see you guys in the next one.